The DECR, along with the help of Reef Balls Incorporate, are placing man-made reef into the waters of the Turks and Caicos, more recently in the waters of Grand Turk. Reef Balls are, uh, Reef Ball Incorporated is a company that makes artificial reefs um, to assist countries around the world, organizations, um, projects in providing secondary habitats for reef organisms, meaning coral, fish, lobsters, etc., the whole works. That is exactly what the DECR hopes to provide for the coral and all the animals that depend on our reefs by placing these man-made structures into our waters. The reef balls are just large balls, either in what are called layer cake forms or in balls, as you can see behind me. And what it does, it provides a, more or less a, a structure in which uh, fish and other organisms can live, as well as corals that are in danger of being killed elsewhere can be moved and relocated too. The DECR picked a few specific locations in Grand Turk to place these artificial reefs. The Governor's Beach area and the area in front of the cruise ship area by providing near shore snorkeling activities for the guests and residents alike. Um, it's funded by the Carnival Cruise Center and the DECR. In early November, Reef Balls Incorporate created some of these reef balls in early November for the DECR to put in their desired locations. On the 18th through the 21st of November, these structures were put in place, which according to Hibbert was not an easy task. Um, that proved to be a little difficult because there was a, we had bad weather all around the Turks and Caicos and that was a, it was difficult and very challenging. On the weekend of the 29th of November, actual natural coral was placed onto the reef balls to start the growing process. This was accomplished with the help of many, including volunteers, dive operators, the DECR in Grand Turk, and some Grand Turk citizens themselves. The project is expected to be completed by the end of this month. For WIV4 News, I'm Allison Capron.